Hey, so I just got home from Holiday Ball. Look at my hair. It's totally like straight now. But look at my dress. It, look, it's in taff. No one spilled anything on me last year at Holiday Ball. I was putting down my soda on the table. My fancy, fancy shoes that are like satin were like chilling here. And then as I put this down, my date bumped the table. Sprite goes all over my dress. I was sticky and wet. And it was disgusting. But nothing happened, I don't think. Besides being wrinkled, my dress is quite intact. Look at this. Look. Pretty pumped up. So, and my date. Oh, okay. So I went with this dude. And I thought it was going to be kind of like weird because obviously he doesn't know anyone from my school because he doesn't go to my school. But like, he danced and everyone thought he was nice. And my girl was like, oh, he's so cute. Well, of course, she wants to know why I didn't include that in the description of my date. Well, obviously I'm going to be with someone good looking. Come on. Like, you wouldn't know me if you didn't assume that I was going to be with someone that sexy. But, um, it went good. Not really good. Everyone left around 10.30. And then there was this big after party that we could have went to. But I didn't feel like putting him through all that. Because I'm a really nice person. So we drove around T-Town. We went to all these places. He showed me, like, people's houses and stuff. It was fun. It was, it was a really good time, actually. Oh, and now this kid is text messaging me. Um, he has a son. He's 18 and has a kid. How typical is that? And he sells drugs. Those are the only people that love me. It's alright. So, at Holiday Ball, this girl who I thought hated me because I beat her in something, um, came out to me and was like, oh my god, you look so pretty. And so basically what it goes to say is even my haters can't deny that I looked mad good, basically, is what the moral of the story is pretty excited. Kate and Kara ended up going to an Ecuadorian baby shower in Bristol and supposedly it made top outrageous 20 times. Sounds top outrageous stranger times at, to me but it's cool because my adventure Friday night was ridiculous too. So we have two new stories to add. Kate is going to explain to you all about it on Monday when I have guest stars of Kim Tabitha and Kate in my household because we have a half day because it's like accreditation for our school I'm really excited midterms are done everything's totally done I shouldn't be that stressed out and that means that there's four and a half months point five <laughs> till um, I graduate and it's summertime and then seven months till college yeah. I'm so excited but just wanted to let you know how everything went down. It, it was it was good. I mean, there was people who came into my house, and they it was kind of awkward. They were kind of rude, like, putting soda cans down on my really nice hardwood table. Just without coasters. Who doesn't use coasters? What? And I, it was just awkward, because they didn't bring their camera. Like, they assumed. I don't know what they thought. But if they thought they were doing me a favor, they weren't. So they didn't really have to come. They were nice. They're nice kids. I don't know. It was good. Now it's got me flowers, and that was cute. Yeah.